Greetings, I'm Robin Caddy and this is my book club and today it marks part two for a video which I part one in March 2021 and for those of you not paying attention to the date uh, we're at the start of November 2021. The issue is that All About Saul Leiter is an amazing book but the second half of it rather turns to uh, to, his, to his painting which I know I'm cannot really give you anything about painting I'm afraid uh, and also uh, includes quite a lot of nudes and I wasn't entirely sure where to go with that and what to do with that so it has been you know coming up for seven and a bit months but people have been asking for it and as such this is part two of all about Saul Leiter which I know you're going to love uh, we, we kick off with uh, you know where we left off with the David Bowie bookmark so that's always very useful and uh, just enjoy the photographs you know love his work and towards the end we'll just focus on a couple of my favorites from this section of the book Thank you. 
So as we head towards, you know, the end of the book, we see you know, him at work, we see his studio, we have some essays, some worthy essays, so that we know that, you know, this is a, a proper work which is going on here. A photography that creeps up behind you and tickles your left ear. How perfect is that? And then, you know, as if we need any more proof of the heavyweight nature and the seriousness of this book, well, let's, uh, let's prove it even more with a, a picture of the back of Henri Cartier-Bresson because that's, that's what every good photography book needs. Uh, you know, I'm being a little bit cheeky here. As you will undoubtedly know, I do think this is a remarkable book and I highly recommend it to you. Uh, I will put a link to part one in case you're the one person on the planet who hasn't watched part one. I'll put a link to part one uh, in the description of this and I'll just highlight here just a couple or three of my favourites and it's his colour work and I've probably said this before but if I could take colour photographs like this I would take colour photographs like this all the time. As it is, I shoot in black and white predominantly. Go figure.